I got two boxes here. This one here is an A421 digital thermostat or digital controller. This one here is an A19 mechanical controller, basically a thermostat. What happened last week is I went to a call, the walk-in cooler, the temperature was too low um, and the contacts weren't breaking on the mechanical uh, thermostat, basically is what was happening. So what I did was I turned the dial a couple of times and I freed those contacts up. It's been fine for a couple of days. Okay, so I want to replace it. But what I noticed is when I pulled the cover off inside the box, there was two extra wires. Now what I'm going to presume is that those two extra wires are 120 and common. And the reason I say that is because there's two walk-in boxes side by side. The other one has an electronic thermostat that's powered up. This one doesn't, but it's got the other two wires. It's almost like it's been replaced uh, by a mechanical thermostat in the past. So I picked up two. I'm gonna pull that cover off. I'm gonna check for voltage there. Um, and if it has voltage there, I'm gonna use the electronic. And I'll return the other one. So that's what I'm doing today. Let's get to it. We're gonna fix this thing up. And the good thing about the 4A21 is it's got the backlight on it. It's got a, an offset for the sensor, so you can calibrate it up or down either way if there's a calibration issue, if the sensor goes out of whack a little bit. So that's what I, I'm hoping to use and planning to use. Let's get to it. So I got the box mounted for the controller, but the walk-in started to warm up a bit, so I just jumped out the two contact wires. In order to bring the condensing unit on, we'll cool the box down a little bit, and then we'll get back to it once we're down to temp. So the wire that I thought was a neutral in the box actually wasn't. So luckily the controller is uh, 240 volt capable. So all I had to do was bring this jumper wire over from the terminal block of the switch to the terminal block of the power, and that worked out quite well. I'm gonna go through some of the parameters right now. Okay, going through the parameters is fairly easy, and I will just tell you, this light being on means that the contacts are closed and we're in the cooling operation. If this light is off, that means it has stopped running and cooling. Uh, there is a, um, a six foot, this wire is just over six feet, the sensor on it. Now I had to wrap it up and leave it here as neat as possible because the old mechanical stat, the sensor was sitting up here and we have to keep the sensor in the same vicinity. It's just the way this place is. It's a pharmaceutical building um, and there's procedures written up and the sensor location is in that procedure so we got to leave it here. Now to go through the parameters it's easy. We just touch the down arrow and the up arrow at the same time for a few seconds. Okay, we're not gonna to touch on all these right now, but um, this one here, we have the opportunity to change between degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Because we're in Canada in a plant, we're gonna leave it on degrees Celsius. We're not gonna to touch on all these, like I said. So this is the anti-short cycle delay. Currently is set for one minute. Um, we're gonna play around with that, and see how the machine runs uh, with it at one minute. If we need to change it, we'll change it. This is the off setting. So we're currently set to turn off at four degrees Celsius. And this is the on setting. We're currently set to turn the condensing unit on at five degrees Celsius. And like I said, we're gonna be playing around with these settings until we get it running the way we want. And there's a bunch more stuff in there that we're not gonna get into right now. But if you leave it like that, it will revert back to its regular operation. So that basically is the A421. It's a really cool um, electronic thermostat. It's very inexpensive, very easy to install. The instructions are very good on it. And if you want, you have a temperature offset in here to calibrate the sensor. If it ever uh, becomes uh, not faulty, but if it ever goes out of calibration, we can calibrate it um, minus or plus minus five degrees. Fahrenheit and plus minus three degrees Celsius, which helps out a lot 
um, when you're doing maintenance or troubleshooting or servicing the controller. One last check guys, we're going to verify we're reading correctly. 5 degrees C on the controller. I got the 323 air quality probe turned on, connected via Bluetooth to the 440, and we got 5.1 degrees C there. So we're verified up. We got this thing up and running. We got it set. All good. We've been digitized. Happy HVACing guys.